one of the advantages of teaching a YouTube golf channel is uh, that I have to examine my swing a couple times a week. I got over 50 videos now. And not only do I have to give you a good lesson so you learn something, I have to learn about my swing and how it works. And, and boy, have I improved since we started in February. It's September now. So I've been doing it quite a while. I'm a veteran of the YouTube channels. But um, I gave you a tip about how to flight the ball, how to hit your clubs higher with a very simple move. And lo and behold, it's changed my game since then. I'm not just using that swing to create height. I'm using it for everything. And I'm hitting steady in the 70s and hitting the ball solid as heck. So I'm going to share it. You can go watch the one-minute video of how to, how to launch your clubs with one simple move or something like that. But today I'm going to go into detail of why it works and why it possibly can change your game too. Okay? So don't go anywhere. So what the uh, move that I did, that works by the way, if you want to hit the ball a little higher, is to take the club back. I have a very neutral grip, as you know, if you've watched. But on the way back, I'm not taking it back like this right now, or, you know, have a stronger grip and taking it back like this right now. I'm taking it back with a weak grip and I'm going slightly, just for the takeaway now, slightly underhand, like you're hitting a backhanded, you know, tennis shot. I'm starting the first three or four feet in a swing like this, and then it straightens out and then it continues on. That's it. Just three or four feet off the ball. So I'm basically coming in and going like this actually not even like that, like this, and then I'm coming through. It's very similar to my other swing, except for one thing. My other swing, I used to take the club back, open it up like the old days, but see my shoulder would tilt and my head would tilt slightly because I don't have flexibility. So it would tilt, the face would open, I get in a flat, flatter plane and hit the ball really solid, but low. Right? And I would be on a less descending blow, which is fine. But with this new way, I'm starting it like this, getting the shoulder to, instead of turn, I'm getting it to tilt that and hit and I'm not moving my head in fact I think because I'm doing that because I still stand close to the ball take it back and my head is staying more in the slot now keep in mind there's a lot of teachers online that say well this is totally wrong no it's not the old way I was swinging was not wrong it just gives you a different type of shot I mean, you don't have to cut and paste things about your swing to be successful. And you don't have to do things absolutely like the instructors on YouTube tell you. Use it for a guide. That's what I'm here for. I'm not to change your swing, not to give you a complete overhaul. Use it for a guide. And I've been golfing that way, I don't know, the last four or five rounds. And I've been in the 70s, and I've been making birdies. And I'm playing almost like I did when I was a kid. Almost. I'm 66 after all. Well, let me hit one here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And both ways are good. 
But I'm, I'm coming down, I'm compressing the ball a little better, and the ball is going straighter. And I never, in a million years, and I've been doing this a million years, thought that just by taking it back like this with the club actually feeling like it's going like this, and not like this, but like this, just for the first three, we're just talking about the takeaway. That's changed everything. And I'm hitting it higher and more consistent. And I'm scoring a lot better. So I, I use a very narrow stance, as you know. We got to keep that with this. I mean, that's right on the button. I'm so grooved. And I want you to be grooved too. So all I want you to do is hopefully, I don't know if it'll work with a stronger grip. Stronger grip, you tend to do that anyway because it comes off close. But I don't know if you're going to get the same impact, right? So if you don't have a neutral grip like I do, hold it like this. Uh, try, try to loosen it up and get it that way if you want to try this. Keep your stance narrow. If you have flexibility problems, right? So in the first, the first, I don't know, three feet, just feel like this left hand is going like this and then continue on the way you hit the ball before. And it's just putting my, my swing in a different plane, just a slightly, a slightly, more upright plane so that when I come down, I'm compressing the ball and I'm getting so much more consistency. So, let me hit this one. I'll stop it four feet back. Narrow stance, I am, to help me, I am angling my front foot out at about 11 o'clock instead of 12. It's at 11 o'clock, narrow stance. I'm coming back and it, and it almost feels like the old way I would transfer weight back and then get on the flatter plane and then push the weight through, right? And it would work. It's, it's nothing wrong with it. I'm just liking the way the ball is flying now this way. But this way, when you take the club back and the club goes like this, it almost feels like you're throwing your back more at the target. Now you obviously know I don't have much of a swing, so I'm not like up here anymore, but it feels like the back is more at the target, even though it probably isn't in reality that much but it feels that way so let me hit another one all right i'm going to uh put that in slow motion so you see it in slow motion but Man, it's just, it's just so simple. And it's not, not that much different than what I was doing before. So try it. See if it helps you. Again, the key is to have the, the hand, instead of turning, just the first couple of feet, start it like that. You'll be hitting the ball higher for sure, because that's what the first lesson was about but you'll be hitting it straighter and with more consistency. Now, if you end up with a little bit of a slice, right? Then, because every change you make affects your swing. If you end up with a little bit of a slice, make sure that you're not open or your face of the club is not open. You may want to, even if you're a senior, 
you may want to close your stance slightly. Make sure you're not reaching for the ball. That's as straight as I can hit it. So good luck. I hope this works as good for you as it has been working for me. I'll see you next time.